Oh, awfully windy. We're gonna try the same area here. I gotta get this bike collapsed. right down here. Ooh, got a lot of algae growing. Look at all that algae. That could very well all up my jig. So I'm gonna start as usual with a hair jig, float and fly. I got a 1 8 ounce jig on here right now mm, 47 degrees surface temps that's pretty darn good and there goes the carp already the carp are already jumping a lot of carp in this pond. If you ask me, I think too many carp. They need to be thinned out. I gotta come here and do a little carp fishing. I just oftentimes probably don't have the the time to do that. So one eighth ounce chartreuse. Water is very dirty. I'm gonna put a. It's gonna put a dab of scent on a little bit of this jig. And there goes the carp again, jumping around. Sure my drag is set because that's what my problem last time when I was here. My drag was a little too loose. Okay, that's why this this pond can be hit or miss. Um, very easy to get skunked. But sometimes it could be red hot. It's either hot or cold. It's never in the middle. Okay, let's throw it one more time over the rocks. And then we're gonna throw a Ned Rig. Let's start pulling out the Ned Rig. Okay, what to do, what to do. Should I start with a black and blue or should I start with a little bit of chartreuse? Oh, nice. Nice job, Michael. Oh, nice job. Wind catches it and takes it away.
There he goes. I saw him. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I saw him come in. Oh my gosh, that's three pounds. That was so funny. I saw him come in to grab this. That, oh, that is beautiful. That's beautiful. He's got to be three pounds. See, 295, 295, that's crazy. Okay, 295, at least 18 inches, beautiful. That was crazy, I'm basically swimming this Ned rig in front of these rocks that are in front of this drain. And I actually saw him come in and grab it. Hopefully it's clear on the video, but 